this guy? I mean, only on CNN could a self-loving hack like Jim Acosta lecture and whine about being labeled fake news and then literally report fake news in an attack on another news outlet. At one point, he even claims that conservatives aren't being censored and discriminated against on the social media platforms. This despite all the mountains of irrefutable evidence and all the testimonies from former employees who took part in the censorship and the discrimination. His entire rant is just completely insane. You heard the president start the, his remarks here at this joint news conference in that fashion, and then he was asked that question uh, by a reporter with the Daily Caller right at the very end. Uh, you know, it was the question was was asked in a way that really teed it up uh, like a, like a game of t-ball here in the Rose Garden. Uh, Gee, you mean like the never-ending parade of Democrats that you bring on the CNN and then tee up to trash Trump and Republicans? You mean like the softball fake town hall that you just had for Elizabeth Warren? It always amuses me when hacks like Acosta accuse people of things that they are obviously guilty of themselves. Acosta then goes on this long whiny rant about how mean Trump called CNN fake news and the enemy of the people, which, by the way, CNN is. When the president of Brazil mentioned the term fake news, he got sort of a smile and a nod from President Trump. This is a virus that is spreading around the world. When you have the president of the Brazil uh, calling the press the uh, fake news, uh, he is he is trying to uh, essentially, you know, in a sycophantic sort of way, uh, suck up to the president of the United States. I mean, there's just no other way of putting it. <laughs> Again, here we have a guy on a network that acted as Barack Obama's personal propaganda machine for eight years, now lecturing and whining about another president sucking up to Trump. I suppose if anybody knows sucking up when they see it, it's CNN. During these first 100 days, what has surprised you the most about this office, enchanted you the most about serving in this office, humbled you the most, and troubled you the most? Now, let me write this down. <laughs> Look, the term fake news was started by left-wingers and Democrats during the Bush administration. During the Bush years, the left and the media often referred to Fox News as fake news or faux news. During the Obama administration, the Democrats and the media often used the term fake news to disparage or discredit stories that were detrimental to Barack Obama. It wasn't until Trump came along and turned it around on them that they suddenly took issue with the term. Acosta is so deranged that he goes on to actually report literal fake news and a clumsy attack on the Daily Caller. Uh, the president was just sort of served up a softball there when he was asked, you know, whether or not the Democrats are advancing a lot of socialist ideas. Wrong. Unfortunately for Jim Acosta, the Daily Caller never asked Trump about socialism. Not at all. Sager and Jetty from Daily Caller. Sager. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You. Two questions for you, sir, if I may. The first on the 2020 election. There's a growing number of Democratic candidates who have endorsed the idea of adding seats to the Supreme Court. You tweeted in support of Congressman Nunez's suit against Twitter. Yep, that's another straight up lie from Jim Acosta, also known as fake news in a rant where he's arguing that CNN isn't fake news. And all of this while CNN is currently being sued for $250 million over a fake news story that targeted a bunch of kids. Like I said, folks, these people operate in an alternate reality of their own creation. He likes to talk about how there is this media collusion game uh, that is stacked against him when he has one of the most powerful social media voices out there. And so uh, conservatives aren't being discriminated and, and abused on social media. They have just as much of a landscape that they dominate uh, as the left does. And, and, and one could argue that they have a, a much bigger footprint. So I believe that this is actually a tactic that they use in the fake news media. They won't report on certain stories that are inconvenient to their narrative, and then they just continue to pretend as if those stories never happened. It's all about creating an alternate reality for their viewers who simply want their biases confirmed. Does Jim Acosta not know about the Google meetings that were secretly tape recorded and showed that they are coordinating to censor conservatives? Does he not know about all the employees of these companies that have come forward and said that they took part in these actions to censor conservatives and Republicans? Did he somehow miss the Joe Rogan interview with Tim Pool and the Twitter CEOs? Does he even know about Journalist? It was a private discussion forum used by Democrats and journalists in the media to coordinate attacks on Republicans and strategize ways of defending Obama. The fact is, Jim Acosta is a straight up lying scumbag who has no problems lying straight to your face. The fact of the matter is, CNN and the media lie so often that I have enough material for daily videos. Our only real defense is to keep calling out the lies and to share videos like mine that call them out. And if you like my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon, PayPal, or Subscribestar. And there's no getting around it, I absolutely need your support. 
With networks like Fox slowly succumbing to left-wing pressure, there's going to be fewer and fewer voices calling out the fake news media. So if you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.